Hello and thank you for watching. This is Nice Cans with Thomas Mergle. I am Thomas Mergle. Uh, so yeah, I haven't done this in a week because, uh, well, there really hasn't been any good metal news lately. And honestly, there still hasn't been. I just kind of wanted to do Nice Cans to say, you know, hi, how's it going? It's been a whole freaking week. But it's been really slow lately. Um, I want to focus more on death metal and black metal news. And I only have like one thing black metal on here like an update to talk about and that's it and that's dark throne talking about their new album arctic thunder and uh, revealing the album art for it it'll be released october 14th through peaceville records and it's just a uh, typical black metal album art it's just you got trees and it's a land little little landscape it looks like it's not it's not zoomed out so much as you, you know most our work is not on a grand scale of things it's very very dark dark blue with a black silhouette of some trees and then a bonfire in the lower left hand side in uh then it just says arctic Th thunder it's dark thrones newest album and it's coming out october 14th lamb of god released a new video today and uh a stunning reveal on it, the music video is for the song embers with uh, chino marino on guest vocals and this song i never really realized it was by it was written by mark morton lyrically and it was about the loss of his child um yeah he wrote about his the loss of his child for the song embers and it's something i never realized that's what it was about and I lost my son two and a half years ago on December 9th, 2014. So reading this whole essay and listening to this song again really means something to me. I can connect with it. So I'll have a link down below for that and uh, listen to it. If, if you've gone through something like this, then it has a powerful meaning to it. And uh, I feel... I can relate to Mark Morton and I feel for what he's going through and let's jump off the depressing news and we had Dio Disciples perform with a hologram of Ronnie James Dio at Vac in the Open Air. Um, that's weird. I, I really think that the holograms are neat, but isn't it kind of weird how you're making these holograms and selling tickets with real money to say to see someone fake? Is it just is that just me? I mean, the singer is gone, so kind of let it go. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems weird that you would sell tickets and stuff. I mean, I guess it's good for the band because they're still wanting to play music, right? I don't know. It's kind of weird. So Dio Dio performed at Whack and Open Air recently, and uh, I'll have a link down below to that. And then, last but not least. I have a little bit of drama to talk about. Um, Deicide's Glenn Benton tells Corey Taylor and Slipknot to blow him. Okay, I wonder why. Well, if you listen to the, or if you read the excerpts from this podcast, Talk To Me podcast, um, he uses a homophobic slur. I mean, okay, that is what it is. And Glenn Benton's always been a guy who will say what he wants to say, and it's very primitive about it. Um, just kind of straight to the point, and uh, just says what he wants to say. And that's fine and all, but he kind of comes off as a huge man baby uh, when he's talking about uh, Slipknot not taking Dia side out on tours, or at least a tour. And I think that's kind of weird because... I don't think I'd ever... I mean, it'd be kind of neat to see a Deicide Slipknot tour, but I don't think that it would work. I don't know, just something about that doesn't seem like it would work out right. Uh, Slipknot playing in arenas, Deicide plays in venues, and I mean, seeing Deicide open up for Slipknot just doesn't seem right. I don't know why. Maybe it's because Slipknot's, uh, Slipknot's Iowa album uh, was heavily influenced by Deicide, so it would kind of be like... I know Slipknot sells way more of everything than Deicide, but to me it just seems like Deicide should headline and Slipknot should open, but that's just me in terms of seniority at this point. I know money-wise Slipknot should always be the headliner of most major events. 
So, uh, yeah, this, this, I'll link it down below of what he says, and it just comes off as pathetic and, uh, kind of like a crybaby in a way. I don't know, it's just weird. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the new, in the next Nice Cans. Um, I'm gonna do uh, another, I got a review coming up soon, and I also have some best of 2016 posts and videos to make. So stay tuned for that. Take care. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing too. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.